I'm just rambling now. That's what the religions are supposed to lead you to. That's what these churches are supposed to lead you to, an actual understanding of what you're reading. Nobody's doing that. I don't know of a church that's doing it. In fact, the, think about how crazy the orthodox position is, right? Because, you know, this is a thing online now. The orthodox tell you that the, that the Holy Bible is a liturgical, I've said this before, that the Holy Bible is a liturgical book. That you can't understand the Bible. They literally claim that you can't understand the Bible outside of their church. This is their claim. They also claim apostolic succession, which means we are the one line of all the way back from Jesus himself when he was here 2,000 years ago. Okay, that's the claim, right? Then you ask that tradition, what does revelation mean? You're claiming this is a liturgical book and that you can't possibly understand this without the church. Then we go to the very people that are supposed to have the interpretation of this. And we say, what does the last book mean? Give us some serious insights that we can clearly understand that. Do you know what the Orthodox tell you? M multiple Orthodox have said this, to, have said this, and I've heard it. They don't teach revelation in the church because they don't know what it means. It's fucking insane. I, I don't even know what to say about that. That's so childish and ridiculous. I don't even know how you could possibly take that position. There they go. <laughs> this is a liturgical book. Revelation is in this book. And in your church, you don't read it because you don't understand it. We started this live stream and I just gave you the mathematics that's 100% verifiable just randomly out of Revelation. By the way, you know, I... <laughs> These churches, let me just say this, these churches, we're going to talk about this, this, this next Sunday too, because we're going to read Matthew chapter seven, which is, oh, chapter seven. It's a good one. You shall know them by their fruits. How many of these churches, when, when the Covidians of the 19 showed up, how many of these churches bowed? They just said, oh, whatever. They are just going to listen to the Pfizer and stuff like that. Most of them. You shall know them by their fruits. I don't care what your interpretation is. I don't care about your hermeneutics. I don't care about what you think and what your tradition is. When it came time to actually show up or shut up, you guys shut up. You guys, most of those churches went to Zoom. They said, well, six feet apart, put the mask on. We're not going to do holy water. Most of those churches, even a lot of them even came out and said, yeah, you should get the jibbity jabos. Most of them. You know, what did this church do? We were writing. I was writing for free, too. It's not like I was, like, charging for it. I was writing exemptions for people to keep their job. It's like, well, you do this online. Yeah, what was I doing in Hawaii, too? No, I showed up. I didn't shut up. The devil came out. If the world is a, if the, if, how do I explain this? Let's do another terrible analogy. If COVID-19 from like 19 into 2020, 21, if that was a shitty Northwestern, like, uh, you know, Northern Wisconsin bar, right? If we were going to say like COVID-19 and everything that happened is a shitty, like Northern Wisconsin bar, what happened in that bar? The devil came out like all the like wood paneling just popped out and all like the low hanging ceiling with all like cigarette stained, like, you know, drop ceiling, all of, it, all of that dropped out and like the, all the, the Coors Light, you know, signs bursted open and the devil came out and was like, I'm here, bitch. That's what happened. Every fucking corner of the room, the devil came out and was like, I'm here. And what did the churches do? They bowed to it. It was for us. I was asked after three days, Marty, what's go it's to one of my coworkers, right? It was like a week into it. They, he's like, Marty, Kevin, what's going on? I said, oh, the government's at war with us. That's what I said. And then from that, what happened? What did I actually do on the ground? Why literally everybody that I was working with was masked up in a highly liberal place. I went to work every single day without a mask on and said, I ain't doing that shit. You can go ahead and fire me. And I still didn't get fired. 
because I stood my because I knew what was right. You will know them by their fruits. What did the Orthodox do? What did the Protestants do? What did all those Baptists do down in Missouri? They, I know because they told people down there told me they shut the doors. And you have the and you don't know about revelation and you can't make sense about this with you can't make sense of this and just explain it ba like basically just like we do to anybody. People have a billion questions about this. Not only all of that, you're claiming that you have the salvation and the one true way and everything like that, but you can't even explain half the shit that goes on in here. Half. You can't explain anything that really is going on in here. Then when the devil shows up and it's plain as day, the news is saying it, the, all, the, all the governors said the exact same shit. It was plastered everywhere. Anybody with two brain cells that could rub together and get a little friction that knew about some conspiracies could be like, hmm, this stinks the hell, son. What did the churches do? You shall know them by their fruits. You are fruitless. That's what those churches are. Fucking fruitless.